What's up, everyone? It's Casters here, and it's time to play some more Ark Survival Evolved. Oh, oh, oh! So, okay, so last night they released another update. We're just hanging here at Tribe Base um, because a new creature came out. A new creature called the Mesopithecus. And it's this cute little monkey guy um, that you would think is cute until he starts to throw crap at you. Um, but pretty much. He's a passive tame, just like those Gigantopithecus were. Um, it just seems to be something that would be normal with the apes now. Um, and it seems like they like the dodo kibble. Um, yesterday, we tried to go and hunt for one, and we didn't know what kind of kibble they liked yet. And we found them, and we're trying to feed them mayo berries, and they kept running away so fast. Like, once they would go, like, under a bush and, like, into a couple trees, they were just gone, man. So we found probably three or four of them, but we couldn't keep track of them, even with two of us watching them. So today, we're going to have a second attempt to uh, go and get one of these cute little monkeys. They can ride right on your shoulder, and uh, I guess they like to pick stuff up. So if I'm thinking maybe if we kind of drop stuff on the ground, maybe we can, like, lure them in. Um, honestly, that was Chris's idea. Right now... Chris is actually cooking up a whole bunch of kibble. He actually started this cool little dodo farm before the um, before the update came out because we always lose a ton of pteranodons. So we're fig we figured why not have a ton of dodo eggs on hand so we can always, you know, kind of retrain them. Um, here, we'll get out of alt. Uh, but yeah, he is over here at the campfire cooking up the kibble. And uh, he's got like 60 dodo eggs, and it's been like one day. So that's like super crazy. That's <laughs> it's awesome. It's insane. So he's cooking up the kibble. Um, we still have like hundreds of veggies left over. I grew some veggies for a little while, and I haven't kind of rebuilt the crops anywhere yet. They were right here in the middle of everything, and it was before these little private dino pens were around. Um, so yeah, we don't have any farms, but we do still have like a huge, huge stock of kind of everything. So we're pretty good. It looks like we might be running out of rock carrots, but I'm going to start farming in my place pretty soon here anyway. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to bring you guys in. We're cooking the t kibble up here, and uh, once we find a monkey, we'll come back. Uh, once we start taming him, hopefully this kibble's like super effective. Uh, but yeah, BRB is... And I'm just realizing that maybe you guys don't know how to make the dodo egg kibble. Um, basically, I mean, it looks a little, it looks complicated, but all you really need is a, a fuel source. Um, we don't need ch charcoal in there. Uh, but basically, you need water, you need mayo berries, and you need fiber for any kibble. Um, and once you have those three things, then you need an egg, some some type of meat. Most actually take cooked meat jerky or prime meat jerky. Um, the bigger the dino, the uh, the rarer the type of meat it is that you need to kind of tame them. Um, and then you need a type of vegetable. And then when you put that in a fire, you magically have some kibble. So that's what we're cooking up. We've got 18 made now. Um, Chris and I are thinking we'll both just have about 20 a piece. And that way, uh, if it's a little bit higher level of a uh, Mesopithecus, then we still have a pretty good chance of being able to tame it with the uh, the kibble that we have. Um, so yeah, once again, BRBs, I just thought I would show you guys the kind of stuff that you need to uh, cook up some kibble, man. Um, so yeah, once again, every single recipe for kibble is going to call for the mayo berries, the fiber, and water. You cannot make kibble without water. Um, and so now, these water skins are emptied. We need to go and refill them. But yeah, BRBs, peace. Goodness, it's been like 
a couple hours of hunting for the Mesopithecus. Uh, long enough to kind of break all my gear, um, wandering around through the jungle. So, I guess I'm back at home, I'm doing a little bit of repair, and then I'll go back out looking. I cannot believe how long I've been searching for this thing. Alright, we just got back from, uh, hunting, like, fail failing to hunt, you know, the Mesopithecus, but look at how many, how much chitin and keratin we got from that trip. It is absolutely insane. So I'm just crafting that up real quick, just got my gear repaired, and, uh, yeah, then I'll be back out in the jungle searching for this little monkey. It's, it's really weird. I found him yesterday, and, uh, now I can't, I can't find him today. So, yeah, BRBs. Man, it's a wild male Mesopithecus. <laughs> Come on, little dude. Can I feed you? Oh, man. Oh, man. We fed him kibble. Did you see that? It did like half his tame bar. Oh, and he's not running. And he's not running. This might look super poopy because it's like night and it's raining. And, uh, I'm on Gamma 4 because it's so dark. Um, but oh my gosh, look at this. We have been searching for hours, guys. And he's like this cute little, like, black and rusty kind of monkey. Feed him the- Yes! We have tamed a Mesopithecus! Bam! Oh my gosh, amazing, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. What do we name him? What do we name this little poop slinger? It might not be too original, but we're gonna name him George. Carry on shoulder. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Look at our little buddy! Oh, he looks kind of crazy. Oh, ow! Oh, we're fighting! You come here, Dillo! Alright, okay. We got him. Alright. Come here, Phoenix. Come on, man. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And it only took two kibble. Look at how cute this guy is. Um, so I'm guessing that I can't... Oh, he can be on my shoulder while I'm on the- while I'm on Phoenix. No way! Look at how cool that is. That is amazing. That is totally amazing. Are you guys even kidding me? Look at this. We have little buddy on our shoulder. And we're flying. Oh my gosh. And we got him right at my little hidden lake house. If you guys don't know where that is, it's uh, right where the second pin is on the map. Here. Oh, I can't zoom in while I'm up here. Um, but yeah, you can see where it says Cassers and where it says me. And that's that's right where we are. <laughs> Derp. Um, but yeah, we can just fly right over here and we'll be back at base, man. Oh my goodness. We have a little buddy and his name is George. And he's my little friend. Oh my gosh! We finally did it. It only took like four hours. <laughs> um, and it only took two kibble. Oh, oh, we're stuck. We're stuck in the trees. It only took two kibble, so that's like crazy cool. I want to find like a bunch of these guys. I wonder if I could carry one on each shoulder. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here for today, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. I will as well. And this is Cassers out. Oh, air poop! Air poop! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's a it's a person on a giant monkey's back with a little tiny monkey on her shoulders. Look at this! Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, what's up, photobombing trike? What's up with you? Oh, oh, oh. Can we throw ourselves with the monkey on our back? Crap! Yeah! We totally can! We totally can!